Virtual pilgrims, you join me in a really, really seriously weird place. We are way under the streets of Jerusalem in the most extraordinary network of tunnels which are made to channel water around Jerusalem in ancient times. We've been in a Canaanite tunnel, 4,000 years old. We've paddled up to our knees in Hezekiah's tunnel. This is a Herodian tunnel. Incredible engineering under the streets to get water into the right places. Water has incredible power in this part of the world. We arrived in the midst of a drought. We prayed for rain. It rained. That was boring for the pilgrims, but fantastic for people living in this part of the world after such a long drought. And of course, for us as pilgrims, everything points us to Jesus. And it's been bringing to life for us all those many images where Jesus uses water as a sign of his presence and his love. Down that way is the Pool of Siloam, where, John, where Jesus healed the blind man in John chapter 9. Above me is the Pool of Bethatha, where he healed the lame blind man in John chapter 5. And of course also behind me is the temple, where Jesus spoke of the Holy Spirit as a fountain of living water coming out of the believer's heart. In arid, dry countryside, these images of Jesus as the living water, bringing us life and refreshment and joy and hope, are incredibly powerful ones. And in the Holy Land, we've drunk deep from the living water, which is Jesus Christ. I hope you've been able to enjoy something, too, of our pilgrimage over the last few days. Perhaps later on, I'll be able to bring you some impressions of other pilgrims. But thank you so much for joining us.